Welcome to All Grown Up Now, Tales of a Checkered Past. I'm Kenneth D. King, podcasting from my studio near Union Square in New York City. This podcast is an evolution of the tale, All Grown Up Now, A Friendship in Three Acts. This is season two, and it's called Tales of a Checkered Past. It's a collection of short stories from my salad days on up to the present. In each podcast, another self-contained story will be presented. These podcasts will be broadcast bi-weekly, so you get two a month. Enjoy. Episode 76, I call The Sunday Afternoon Lecture. This occurred when I was still living in San Francisco, probably around 2003. When I was still living in San Francisco, I was on the board of the Textile Arts Council, which was the support group for the costume and textile collections for the de Young Museum. The first meeting I attended after I was voted in, I asked, what do new board members do? There was a flurry of, I move, and I second, and in about three minutes, I found myself the chair of the program committee. As it was, I was also the committee. I rather liked that. Once I recovered from that shock, I realized that this would give me license to call anyone I wished to talk to, under cover of inviting them to speak. My programs really were for my own edification. As a side benefit, they were popular and very well attended. As an aside, since the meetings occurred on the first Tuesday of the month, in the afternoon, it felt to me like most of the other board members, were retired women of a certain age, and this was one of their monthly activities. After a while, my friend Stuart dubbed them the Daughters of Cloth. So whenever I think of the group, that's the first name that comes to my mind. The Daughters of Cloth were made aware of a lecture at the Oakland Museum on the topic of California fashion. The lecturer was a man named Harold Coda. For those not familiar with Mr. Coda, he is, in the words of Wikipedia, an American fashion scholar, curator, and the former curator-in-chief of the Anna Wintour Costume Center at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. In other words, he's a big damn deal. So this was an event. Harold Coda at the Oakland Museum. Now, I had met Mr. Coda on several occasions, and he was always helpful and gracious to me. One example was the first time I met with him in 1991. He looked over my work and then made a phone call to the fashion director, Bergdorf Goodman, in New York to set up a meeting with me. He's always been that kind of man. So, on that particular Sunday afternoon, I made my way to the Oakland Museum. I got there a little early and saw him in the auditorium, preparing to talk. I went up and said a quick hello. As always, he was gracious. As the auditorium started filling, I found a seat. Eventually, others from the Daughters of Cloth saw me and started sitting next to me. It was nice to have people I knew along to enjoy this talk. As we were all chatting before the lecture, this obnoxious young man came in and wedged into the seat right next to me. To give you a picture, he looked like a demented cherub. Short, chubby, with thinning hair, pasty white skin, and a petulant pout. That said, he was also trying way too hard in the fashion department. This trying way too hard thing extended to his opinion of himself which he seemed determined to expound upon to anyone in the vicinity. Sadly, he focused on me and started a dissertation on how he was the most 
fabulous designer ever. He was so brilliant, so innovative. Why, he was even using home furnishings, fabric in his designs. Never mind that we already did that in the 1980s. On and on and on and on, legend in his own mind. Oi. I was reminded of an old joke. There's a support group for people who talk too much. It's called On and On and On and On. Finally, the lights dimmed. The demented cherub finally shut up, and Harold Coda gave the lecture. It was a thorough and enjoyable dissertation on California fashion, focused on the 20th century, and it was as only he could do it. After he finished, he opened up the floor for questions. One particular question that I knew would come up was, you didn't cover the art-to-wear movement. Do you have any thoughts on that? Harold paused a moment and then said diplomatically, well, the wearable art movement doesn't have the same resonance on the East Coast as it does on the West Coast. However, You do have a tradition of excellent couture here. One of those practitioners is Kenneth D. King. Right at that moment, everyone sitting near me turned and looked. Feigning modesty, I smiled a little and waved. Suddenly, I felt the eyes of the demented cherub bearing into the side of my skull. I couldn't resist. Turning to him... I said quietly, that's me. Afterwards, if I could have, I would have gone down and kissed Harold Coda full on the lips. Thanks for listening. You can get the audiobook All Grown Up Now on iTunes, Audible, and Amazon, or from my website, allgrownupnow.com. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the website, allgrownupnow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Kenneth D. King, on Facebook, at Kenneth D. King Design, or on my main website, kennethdking.com.